welcome to Delicate Dark Girl. So, I'm going to give you guys a haul. I haven't done a haul in a very long time. Um, I'm going to go backwards, starting from what I got just today, and then go into what I bought on Saturday when I was actually in New York City. Apparently, I was given like a 30-minute lecture about how New York City really is only Manhattan and like the rest of New York City is just outer boroughs and they just call themselves by their borough name. When you say you're going to the city, everyone means Manhattan. But if you look on a map, <laughs> it's all New York City unless you're upstate. But I'm not gonna fight with the people that live there. So anyway, moving on. Here we go. We were at Marshall's today and I basically got a lot of skin stuff plus one fun thing at the recommendation of my manager <laughs> she told me to get this palette because we saw uh, that's my manager we <laughs> she told me to get this palette so it's a highlighter palette by ellen tracy so we all know how i feel about highlight how i just keep trying and so here are four different kinds so we're gonna see how that feels i kind of want to put some on now but I'm not going to do that, otherwise this will take forever. But let's swatch it so you can see some, huh? Let's open it up nice and fresh. Still got the tape on it. Mm, people tried, but they couldn't get in. So here they are. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with the one in the upper, the upper left-hand corner. So we're going to go clockwise. So like that. All right? Mmm. Yay, I'm the first one to touch it. Ooh, this one's really... Really something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I should put it on this hand or what. Okay. I have my Huggies wipes here. Got my Huggies. This is a very silvery highlight, which I actually like a lot. That was the first one. Moving on. It's not a finely milled highlighter, if that's what you're looking for. It's got a very, mm, it's got a thick texture to it. I don't know if you can tell by when I swipe my hand. Hold on. You see that? It's very thick. I only took a little bit, but I know it's highlighter, so let's just hold on. Maybe I should just actually swipe less. I don't know how to swipe highlighter properly. That one's more of a champagne. I'm gonna get a better swatch for you. Hold on. And so there you go. That's better. I just need less. Anyway, well, it feels smoother when <laughs> you don't treat it like a body cream. There we go. So this one's supposed to be a bit more champagne-y. And it's actually, all of them seem pretty strong. So that's me rubbing it and blending it out over the back of my hand. Yeah, that one's, see, it's less silver than the other one, but it's still not gold gold. So it's more just like champagne-y. Hmm. That one must be really nice, actually. It's got a bit of white and a bit of gold, but it's not too much of either. So that was this one. Now we're moving to this one, this marbled, marbled one. Hmm. It kind of looks like the last one. <laughs> okay. This one is a little bit more deeper silver again. Let's compare it with the very first one. The very first one is like outstandingly silver though. That's the very first one. That's the one we just put. It's kind of, if you look at it, it almost, it's almost mauve -y when you look at it without the light. It's kind of just like silvery, kind of mauve -y. And I guess that's the little rose part. This is the second one. Sitting next to them, it looks even more gold, doesn't it? All right, and then the last one looks like a yellow kind of thing happening. Mmm, that one might be my favorite. Okay. Okay. Here we are. It's almost like... Um, it's not yellow yellow. It's just, it's kind of like a, a soft gold. Oh, but it's like duochrome! And it becomes something else. Little, yeah. Hmm. Like a transmogrifier. Okay. So it's a transmogrifier. That's, that's <laughs> not a real term. <laughs> hmm. 
But yeah, I see that. That one's actually the running favorite here. Kind of like, you know, like some sort of mystical mermaid scales. Magical mystical mermaid. Yeah, dragon scales. Dragon scales, dragon scales. Winner! So let me show all four of them side by side. So this is all four of them. So they look very different when you put them together. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> so this is the first one. That was the second one. This was the marbled one. And that was that last one that looked cream, but apparently comes out like a green gold. Okay. Everyone's so different. You know, you really look at this one. It's got like a pinkish hue. Yeah. This one's got like a pinkish blue dual kind dual of chrome. silvery silvery hue. This one's dual chrome. That's what I would say. Yeah. So this one's dual chrome. And then you have the pinkish. The marble one is kind of like a pinkish hue. It's like good. Well, I won't say good, but like and then, super high quality dual chromes really have that back and forth where it would change in the light. Oh yeah. But some don't. Mm, this one's kind of green, and then. Kind of gold when you put it directly in the light. I don't know. Uh, so the second one's a little champagne-y. And then that first one is like white silvery. That's cool. Those are the Ellen Tracy ones. I put a lot on. Obviously, you don't have to put that much when you put it on. We'll play with it. Find out. Neat. And then I also, from Marshalls, got... Oh, this is going to take forever. I got two more face wipes. You can back up now. Oh, it's the wrong way. One by that, the people that I like a lot, Precision Beauty. So me and my sister share face wipes. So uh, it's great because they come with 60, all of them. Um, so this one's got collagen extract. We decided to try a different one. Even though the, the one that we had is great and there's nothing wrong with it. We just wanted to see the other things that that same brand makes and see how we like that. This one's collagen. So it's infused to help um, uh, improve the appearance of skin's elasticity by Precision Beauty. And then we got a new one, Physique, which is hydrating with goat's milk and hyaluronic acid. And I was telling her, I like things with, when it talks about skincare, I like things that say milk. I don't really know why, but I feel like it's nutrient and like hydrating and it feels like great on my face. It's a mental thing, but it works. So anyway, that's physique. Lingette de maquillon. So then, I already wrapped it up all nicely. I got two the Valjean Labs. So, as you know, I already love my Clarify Vitamin A Witch Hazel. But, my skin has actually, it, it, it's almost, it almost feels like it was overnight changed from really oily to not oily at all. Like it was just like a matte face. Even after I took a nap, even when I woke up after like freshly washing my face or anything, there was not like a drop of oil on my face, but it wasn't dried out. It was just like a matte face and it's very strange but also I'm trying to see if it's because of my skincare and we were having this whole discussion about how my skin might have never actually been oily but it was circumstantially oily because of my lack of proper skincare throughout the years of like my life since puberty and everything I used to use astringents and all that stuff because at the time in that decade I told her that's what I'm gonna tell you at the time if you guys remember back in the late 90s early 2000s everything was about stripping your face of oil because oil was the cause of all bad things that happened to your face so everything had astringent and then as the 2000s went on they started making toner with without alcohol and then astringents kind of became a way of the past because they were like stripping the oil from your face is terrible so anyway but it was too late I was already in that and then I didn't really take care of my skin after that except like occasionally washing it or you wash it in the shower and that's about it but then as I started really getting into makeup and this channel I started looking more at my skin and taking ca more care of my skin in a different way because I used to try what other people had said I did different things but they were all very sporadic um, I never really found what was right for my skin because I didn't really have a good understanding of my skin except the fact that it was always oily so 
as I began to understand my skin and its texture and what I actually wanted my skin to look like, I started taking better care of it, I think. And, um... So here we are today. Now, now that I have matte skin for some reason, I'm thinking I'll need to add more hydration than in the past. So I got um, this hydrate one with hyaluronic acid and vitamin B5. I also think that this rapid change happened after I started using that spray. And that vitamin A is supposed to control oil. So I wanted to know. I've been using it for two months straight every day. And so I wanted to see if, if I stopped that, would my skin return? Or was that like a, a change like vitamin-wise that happened? You know, I don't know. But we're going to try this one now and see if it will hydrate my skin and see what happens. And then I got this for my neck. Glow Vitamin C and Magnesium. It's supposed to soothe, refresh, and hydrate skin. And it's brightening vitamin C and revitalizing magnesium to even out skin tone. I didn't want to put it on my face because I feel like my face is, my skin, the skin on my face is even enough. But, you know, we often neglect our necks. I know I do. So, like, I wash it in the shower, but that's it. I don't. I don't really, I mean, I lotion my body, and I, you know, you lotion your neck by course. But anyway, so I just wanted to give my neck some extra vitamin C. <laughs> That's the haul from, oh, on the backboard, said Nancy. Yeah. And from budgeting. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so in New York, I went to the flagship store of it's Free. That was really exciting. I really went up there to get um, a foundation, but my color was all sold out in every single kind of foundation, so I was too late. But instead, I got some basic staples. I was going to get skincare, but I decided I could get skincare online and be fine because I know which types I like from industry, so I was just going to get those online anyway. What I really wanted was the things with pigments so that I could actually test them and see them because when you're buying pigmented things online sometimes it's not the, exactly the color you saw or you feel like it's not the color you saw or anything like that but that happens to me a lot not with foundation but with like eyeshadows and blushes and stuff sometimes it's not exactly the color that I thought I was looking at online and I'm like no oh, darn so I like looking at those things in store so while we were in New York I was determined so we got to go to Innisfree it's in a really pretty place mm, uh, Union Square Park Union Square Park is really nice anyway so I got three eyeshadows and a blush you can make your own palette which is what I was gonna do but then I just said, I'll oh, forget it because I wanted to get this third blush. And this third blush is actually, I will swatch it for you. They are just M is for matte, G is for glitter, and S is for shimmer. So I got two mattes and a glitter. So this is G36 and it actually happened to come to me because the girl that was helping us, she had something on her eye and I asked her what that was and she told me it was G36. So I got G36 because it looked really nice and so here it goes I don't always choose this arm to swatch on I've got this bracelet in the way okay so there you go isn't that nice Woo! here we go So that's the glitter one. See, it's like got really big sparkle chunks. Oh, but it's nude. It's nude. It was even nude on her, and she was like super light skin. <laughs> like really light skin. So that's G36. And then I got two more very important. They're all individuals. Aren't they cute? So I got G M20. So that's a matte. 20, which was this very nude basic brown and that is for my eye as well oh getting this open is a mother it's so smooth too the eyeshadows the industry eyeshadows are really like smooth there you go there's that brown it's the perfect eyeball brown like base brown 
It's a really great nude brown. There it is, see? Where is it? You don't know. Here it is. Mm. Then the last eyeshadow is another matte, and it's M40, and it's black. And I got this black one when I showed up, I said it was for eyeliner. I was getting this for eyeliner because I actually am running out of the Chad and Juvia's. So I wanted another black, like, single that I know is just for making eyeliner. But then my sister had put it on and she kind of smoked it out a little bit. And then she put that nude on top of it and it looked really cool. So I might have to do that. So now it's just eyeshadow, but for primarily it was, I bought it for eyeliner. And it's just your basic black. Uh oh, I got a little sparkle in it. Oh darn. Woo! There you go. It's like perfect black. Absolute black. Almost like activated charcoal. It's like activated charcoal black. So, that's really nice. See that? Mm. They are tripping balls if they think anyone's paying $20. Right? Excuse me, I'm yeah. filming. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they are tripping balls. Like, Hi. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> so this is blush. As you can see, it's like, it's the size of two of the eyeshadows. And so in the customizable palette, there's a one that can fit four and there's one that can fit six because it's like room for four eyeshadows and a blush line. Um, I wanted to get the little four palette and then I was going to put, actually, the original idea was just to put um, my everyday thing. So it was, excuse me. It was going to be this eyeliner, I mean this eyeshadow, this eyeliner, and the blush. So it was going to be like my daily, daily palette. But then I got that sparkle one, and, but I didn't get a fourth um, eyeshadow. I could have, but I didn't. Anyway, this is the blusher that I got. It's number three. It's a powder one. They had cream ones too, but now I might experiment with cream now that my skin is different. You can see it's like a... Um, like a corally peach. I was looking for something as orange as possible, and so they had this one, this corally peach tone that I thought was really nice. Isn't that pretty? Think about that right on your face. Oops. Sorry. Isn't that nice? Can you see that? Oh, can you? Oh, I can see it. No, they don't. You see that? It's a very natural blushing kind of thing. It's kind of almost just... You... Come on, focus. Come on, welcome back. Right, so that's Innisfree. <laughs> and so then I went inside the drugstore because I wanted to see some things that if they had something else that we don't have down here because it's New York. And indeed they did. They had a whole brand from the Boots London people. They have like a brand that they sell here in America called CYO. And of course, I've never heard of it. So I had to get two things. I got, I thought they were both just blusher, but one is a blush, a powder blush, and one is a cream shadow and blush. So you can use it on your eyes and your cheeks. And apparently it's a cream. I thought it was a powder, but here's the color of that. It's called Tongue Tied. Okay. It's a cream, so it's creamy. There we are. There's that color. And here's the color. So when you put it on, though, it goes on like a... It feels kind of like it's a cream to powder. That's the color, though. Isn't it gorgeous? That's really nice. So that's Tongue Tied by CYO, Care of Boots, distributed in the, U in the USA by Boots Retail. Boots is, the, isn't that the England, like, CVS? Dwayne Reed is New York's Walgreens. So then you have the powder blush, Crush On Blush. This is Strong Words by CYO. And it's like a purpley mauve. That one was just straight up, like, hmm. Passion pink. This one's like a purpley mauve kind of pink. It almost looks like the Sephora uh, lipstick that I have. 
that I like to wear with Night Moth. Hmm, yeah. I'll show you a picture of me in that lipstick. Bing. So, doesn't that look like this? Doesn't that look like that? Right so let's put them side by side. Okay, so you see the pink one is just very pink, and then that one's very much not. Okay, and then I got something else from Dwayne Reed. They, too, have Black Radiance, but they had something from Black Radiance that we don't have down here. And that was these limited edition highlighters. There were four of them. At least I haven't seen it. I don't want to say we don't have it and someone's seen it somewhere. I haven't seen it down here. You tried it. Okay, so this is the highlighting powder. And it's got a little lady in a head wrap among the stars. This one, there was four different kinds. I picked this one called Moonlit Glow. So this is the highlighter. It's cream, but obviously, you see, it come when you put it on, it turns a bit... Wow, that's really, that's really pretty. It's like purple. It's not like purple. It is purple. It's purple. And the powder feels really smooth. That one's actually really soft. Oh, I think I like that a lot. Okay. Okay, now that's it for real. Like, for real, for real. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, my hands are so sparkly. <laughs> Bye.